Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to download and install our free header and footer for Divi's leather company layout pack. This is the final result we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. All right, so the first thing you need to do is to go to this post, which I'll link to in the show notes below. Next, you want to scroll down here until you get here where it says, get it for free today. Click on here and then enter your email address. Next, click on download. And then you want to click here on download the files. So now our files have been downloaded. It's a zipped folder. Now I'm going to go in here and look for that folder so I can show you exactly where it is. So as you can see, here it is. We need to double click it to open it. And this is the file that we need for our header and footer template. All right, so I'm going to push this to the side for a moment. So next, you want to come over here to your website. So what I've done ahead of time is installed Divi. So once installed, you want to scroll all the way down here and then click on Theme Builder. This is where we're going to add our template. All right, so I'm going to come over here to Portability. Click on Import. And so you can either click in here, navigate to the file on in your Downloads folder, or you can just drag it like this. Okay, once that's done, click on Import Divi Theme Builder. And now it's importing our header and footer. So before we uh, save our changes here, why don't we take a look at the website and see what it looks like at the moment. So I'm going to open this in a new tab. And as you can see here, our header is pretty much plain out of the box when you install Divi. And when I scroll all the way down here, we also don't have a designed footer. So now let's click on Save Changes with our header and uh, footer. Now, just by saving here, if we refresh, you notice now that we have a new header. Now, what makes this design look really, really awesome is to also use the design that relates to this. So why don't we go in and install a page template that works with this header and footer because this is a leather company. All right, so I'm going to come over here and go to pages, click on add new. So we're going to call this leather. Use Divi Builder. So for this, we're going to choose a pre-made layout. I want to search for leather. And we can see here that we have a few pages. We have the About Us, the company blog page, and so on. So the page I am going to use for this is just this landing page. I'm going to go ahead and select it and then use this layout. Okay, so now that our design has been loaded, all we have to do now is hit Publish. And now we can exit the Visual Builder. Okay, so as you can see now, the design really works well. The colors also match what we have here on this page. Okay, so there we go. Excellent. Now we have a beautiful footer and we also have a beautiful header. Now, let me show you how to go in and change the colors to match perhaps your design of your company. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to scroll all the way down here to Divi, click on Theme Builder. So to make changes or to adjust our design, we need to be in the global header here. So I'm going to click on this pencil icon. And now this takes us to our main header. So first of all, we're going to start here with the logo. So I'm going to click here and you can see this is where you add your logo. Over here, we also have the background. So on the background here, you can go in and change this color. So you can see as I am clicking here, it is updating. OK, so we're just going to leave uh, everything as normal here. So I'm going to close out of this. So that is how you adjust your header. Next, let's take a look at our menu. So I'm going to click here on module settings. Now, this is going to take us into our menu settings. So you need to make sure you have your menu here selected. And that's the menu that's going to show over here. Next, um, the next step is uh, perhaps maybe to change this design that we have here. So you can go over here to menu text and then we can start adjusting our size. So this could be perhaps one point, I mean, two VW. So let's try 1.5. OK, I think that's a decent size right there. And uh, what you can also do is you can make it all caps if you wanted to, or you can just keep it simple and remove all caps. Uh, here we can change this from regular to uh, semi bold and you can also change the uh, actual font altogether. So you can just um, add whatever font you want 
Okay, so I'm going to leave everything as it is. Close out of here. And then next we also have the social media icons. So here we only have Facebook, Twitter and Instagram, but you can also add more. Now to add more, all you have to do is duplicate this and then you can go in and change the network. So let's say this is Skype. I don't know why anyone would use Skype, but anyway, that's how you would add it. So that's very straightforward to add. But the most important thing here is to know how to add the links to your social media pages. So I'm going to click here on this gear icon link, and this is where you'd add your link. So it's very important that you go in and add your links. Otherwise, um, all your followers won't be able to go to your social media pages. Okay, so that's great. So I'm going to close out of here. And then finally, on our header here, we have a button. So I'm going to come over here. So in our button here, we can change this text by just typing, um, you know, whatever message you want here. So to customize your design here, you need to uh, come over here to background. And this is where you can change your background altogether. So you can see as I am cycling through this, the colors are changing. Okay, so this is where you'd go and make changes to your button. So pretty much that's all we have here for the header. So once you're done, you can just save it. And uh, I'm just going to discard it, exit. But in your case, you need to make sure you save it. Now let's take a look at our global footer. So I'm going to click here on this pencil icon one more time, similar to what we did earlier with the header. All right, so first of all, let's start with this section right here. So I'm going to click on this gear icon. Go to our background and this is where we can adjust our background color as you can see. Okay, so if your website has a certain color, you can always come in here and change it to whatever color works for you. Next, let's head over here now to our main headings. So you can just click here. This is a text module. So you can see we now we have our text settings. So you can change the details here from company to something else. But if you want to go in and customize it, you can just click here on this uh, paintbrush uh, icon and this will take you to your text editor. So I can click here and change this to Poppins, for example. I can update the colors. So you can see here it's very easy to do. So I've updated my color here. So the same applies to all the other headings. Now let's take a look at also the other text that we have here on the bottom. So these are very important because you need to make sure you link them. So this is where you'd come in and add your link. Right now, I'll just put a dummy link in here. Next, you want to come over here to design and um, click on this pencil icon here on the paintbrush icon. So here we can go in and change the colors of the links. So you can see these are updating in real time. And I can also change this to semi bold or even bold. Right. So it's very easy to update. And the same applies for all these links. They're all the same. All right. So let's move on to one of the most important uh, modules here. And this is your email opt in. So I'm going to click here on module settings. So if you just use this as it is, the problem is you will not get your subscribers connected with your CR CRM. So what you need to do is to connect it. So we're going to come over here to email account. So this is where you need to choose your service provider. So there's a lot to choose from. You can see this Fluent CRM here. This is my favorite. We have Get Response. We have Eye Contacts. Uh, we also have Mail Poet, Active Campaign, and so on. So this is where you'd come and choose. Okay. Now, once you've chosen it, you also need to select the list, add them to the list. And then once you're done with that, you can hit Save. Next, let's take a look at our success action. So this here is also very important. It shows a message after someone has gone in and added their details, but you can also add a redirect to a URL. So this is where you can uh, perhaps send them to a thank you page, but you need to make sure that this page has already been created before you can add it here. Obviously it will not connect. So you need to create the page first, add all the messaging on it, and then copy the URL and paste it here. Okay, so once that's done, every time someone adds their name and email address here, they will be added to your email autoresponder. All right, so pretty much that's it. So this is how you customize this. And then finally, we also have this text here. Again, this is similar to all our text modules. You can just go in here and make your updates. So this is 2021. Let's go in and do that. 
So just by doing that quickly, you can see here this has been updated. And we can also go in and uh, change the colors of that footer as well as the social media icons. So now I'm just going to close out of here. In your case, you need to save and exit. But in my case, I'm just going to discard. So once you're happy with everything, just click on save all changes. And now let's take a look at the complete design with a page which relates to the header and footer. Okay, so this is the page. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.